the catchments that, that mines operate in are, are typically quite perturbed catchments. In other words, along with the mine, there's um, several, perhaps dozens, perhaps hundreds of other influences on the water environment. The quality of water, the quantity of water that flows in the rivers, the levels of the groundwater. It's a very complex picture uh, and, and nobody, um, under, nobody at the moment really understands what the uh, contribution of indi individual mines are to that overall picture. We have the expertise that um, can look at the cumulative influences um, within a region on the water quality and water availability and begin to understand uh, how these all, all these influences come together and what their individual and their interacting contributions are to, um, to the quality and the quantity of water. Part of our work is uh, looking for ways to uh, use water more efficiently and therefore uh, reduce the costs associated with it uh, and reduce the, the environmental impact of its disposal. In order to make uh, decisions about how water is managed and, and regulations which dictate how water is managed, uh, th there needs to be, in order for these to be fair and equitable, there needs to be some good science behind that. And there's so many science questions at the moment which just haven't been answered yet. Mining companies uh, can often um, take some offsetting initiatives whereby they recognise that there is inevitable use of water and deterioration of water quality associated with their operations, um, but that um, clearly somewhere else within the region there is an opportunity for them to uh, invest uh, some of their profits to significantly improve um, the water environment and water availability in these other regions.